So last week we we stayed in uh, Las Vegas uh, for about a week. Visited with my dad. Hey Thomas. <laughs> oh, oh, he wants to be in my lap. So, uh, yeah, we were there exactly seven days, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, we didn't gamble much. We did go to uh, a couple of casinos. We stayed at a uh, resort. It was called Las Vegas RV Resort, and that was only a few blocks away from Samstown. Um, so that's quite a ways off the strip. We did go to uh, the Venetian for dinner. It's one of our favorite places to have dinner. Uh, there's an Italian restaurant in a replication of St. Mark's uh, Square. And uh, we've eaten there a number of times. Actually, uh, when we got married, we got married in Las Vegas and we did have dinner there. So we like to have dinner when we come through every once in a while. We and we come through Vegas once every couple of years. So um, visit my father and then uh, uh, see the sights. So uh, like I said, we don't do uh, very much gambling. It's not like what it used to be. Uh, when you came to Vegas, you know, it was a lot more exciting. It's, uh, it seems to be a lot more low-key. One thing about a lot of the uh, hotels and that is they charge a resort fee. Now, years ago, when they first introduced that, it used to be only a, uh, a few dollars a night, so no one really complained about it. Um, and I've been coming here a long time, about 14 years or so. And uh, station uh, casinos uh, started uh, doing that. They introduced the uh, resort fee. And when they first introduced it, I think it was like $5. Uh, now, uh, most of the hotels, and I even found an RV park that charged it uh, when I was hunting out places to stay. Uh, there was one uh, charging a resort fee and it was like $50 a night and then on the weekend it goes up and then in the bottom in the very fine print it said $32 per night resort fee collected uh, when you check in and I, was, I thought maybe that was a mistake and that it was off by a decimal point but no that wasn't a mistake. It was actually $32 a night, which really inflates the cost of your stay. Um, so the, uh, the resort fees are all over the place. So if you do make reservations in Las Vegas, uh, be aware of the resort fees and, and uh, look at that. It will be in the fine print. Some places charge up to $45 a day for the resort fee. And they say, well, this covers your use of the spa and the pool and all that well whether you use it or not you're gonna pay for it that's that's the crazy thing so I think that's very dishonest way of doing business but that's the way all these places in Las Vegas have decided to go um, I'd say 90 percent of the uh, casinos and hotels are charging a resort fee even if it's only just a pool which is uh, totally crazy but, uh, so we ate dinner at the Venetian, and what a fantastic dinner it was, and the, you can't beat the atmosphere. So, I uh, had some wine and spaghetti, and it was, it was all good. One of my favorite casinos, not that I gamble in it, but I love to come here for the shops and the atmosphere and the restaurants. They have gondola rides. This is the Venetian, and they uh, they built the pl plaza right next door, which is part of this. They're actually two separate hotels, but it's all part of it. But the, just the atmosphere, I, I love it. And the gondoliers uh, sing as they row the boat. And then the sky changes, it's all co computer control. It goes from day to evening. It's pretty cool. And then one of the great things about this is you have the living statues. 
here. We've been coming here, what, 10 years now. We've been coming here about 10 years. <laughs> and, nice yeah, you can see their eyes moving. But yeah, that's cool. Every once in a while they move. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so now this is called the St. Mark's Square. They've done a wonderful job with this. And our favorite restaurant is right there. That's our favorite place to eat. Or over that one. So we go over one of the bridges. Well, that must be the wedding gondola. Mm. Right. This is they. From what I remember, they had excellent Italian food, so, and it's like sitting right out in the square. Entertainment while you're dining. It was uh, a bit on the cool side, which I was uh, quite surprised at. And that uh, when we left, it was pouring rain, uh, which I hate driving through that heavy rain and, and a lot of strong winds. And so we headed south down on Route 11. And be aware, Route 11 is pretty new. It it's, uh, uh, meets up with Highway uh, 95. Our GPS uh, didn't recognize the Interstate 11, and so it looked like you were driving off in uh, nowhere land for for a good long while until it met up with uh, 95 Route 95, and then you continue on South 95, 93. So, a little hair raising driving with the high winds, especially when you come across those. Uh, bridges around the Lake Mead area. Um, they they tell they tell you there's big signs for high-profile vehicles, which I would consider ourselves high-profile, uh, to drive in the left lane. This way, if the strong wind hits, you don't blow off the bridge. It's crazy. So, but we made our way down to Parker, um, Arizona, and a lot warmer here. So it was 65 degrees today. And I think it goes down into the 40s at night, which is not bad. In uh, Vegas, it was going down into the 30s at night. Uh, totally crazy. It actually hit 31 degrees uh, one one night. So I would, wouldn't expect that in uh, Vegas, especially, you know, this far past, you know, we're in, the, in February, middle of February. The weather should be getting milder. So... All right, I'll catch you later. Thomas says, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Until next time, happy camping.